check that out. It's a freshwater snake or keelback. There you go, it's a non-venomous snake. I'm gonna be waiting until it gets dark, looking for my target species for tonight, the water python. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. The carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. Woo, look at this. Australia really is full of these absolutely wild places and it's pure reptile heaven. Little burrows like this are perfect for our target species, even though they're called a water python. They actually spend most of their time on dry land near water. It's the last hour before sunset and the search for water python starts now. Look at this right here. There's a tiny, tiny spotted python. It's only just getting dark and the nocturnal snakes are beginning to get active. Oh, so cute. They've got the little heat seeking pits just like our water python that we're after in order to sense its prey. But this one is in this little crevice here. We're emerging to eat small little rodents and actually other reptiles. Well, hopefully you're a good omen for the rest of the evening. Happy hunting to you. Tarantula, amazing, look at that. That is our Queensland whistling tarantula, quite a large size one as well. This will be a male. There's many different species of whistling tarantulas in Australia, and it's quite hard to distinguish between the different species, but it's the way they actually rub their pedipalps together. There's actually these two leg-like appendages are called the pedipalps. They actually rub those pedipalps together with some bristles and that actually makes a whistling sound. And that's what they do in order to deter potential predators. Can I just touch you to see how you react? Okay. Whoa, wait. There he goes. As the night draws on, I kept searching carefully, making my way a bit closer to the water where the snakes may be hunting or drinking. Snake, water python. Woohoo! They just look absolutely gorgeous. Totally underestimated in terms of their beauty. The water piping often is described as being pretty much just a single colour, brown and a yellow olive belly. But look at the amazing rainbow sheen that this water piping is giving off. I mean, a lot of snakes give off a rainbow sheen, but this one really is probably the most Crazy looking. It's got every single colours of a rainbow. Wow. Woo! Yes, we got our fifth species of python on this Australian expedition. Often you think that the water python will be just readily biting you. This one is not doing that at all. It's just so, it's just so unbelievably calm. They're well known for having that yellow underbelly. And they're not quite as big as their most closely related python species. What we haven't seen quite yet is the olive python, one of the largest species of python in Australia and in the world. But just absolutely gorgeous, glossy, glossy. It's that rainbow sheen. In the Aboriginal culture, there's dreamtime stories told of different animals and how the land has been created. And the water python is sometimes believed to be the rainbow serpent which is a mythological creature that's part of the creation stories. This is a totally wild python, and he's just right up to my face. Perfect condition, absolutely perfect scales. There's not a single scar or tick on this water python. Sometimes you see them with a bit of battle scars. And actually this snake has been known to eat freshwater crocodiles. But this python also needs to be careful not to eat the cane toad. So unlike the keelback snake, which we saw early in the day, that is able to withstand the toxins from the cane toad. The water python would actually get killed. So as the cane toad came through here, they actually wiped out quite large populations of water pythons. But over time, the water python populations have bounced back. And who knows what it is, but maybe the water python has gradually learned to avoid the cane toad. Well, there you go. That's our fifth species of python, it's absolutely incredible. We're after every single one. Yes, the water python. Let's let you go. Happy hunting, mate.